Hello makers! Today's video tutorial is about a new IDE called STM32 Cube IDE, which combines graphical tool Cube MX and IDE based on Eclipse Editor. I installed the first official version, which is available on www.st.com. At first, we have to create a new project. Click on Create a new STM32 project link. After loading, you will choose your microcontroller from selector or you can click on board selector and choose your board which is connected to your laptop. In IDE, you can download datasheet and more documents. After initialization, which takes a few seconds, you will see implemented CubeMX in IDE. The graphical tool shows you the clock configuration and you can modify the clocks. And if there is some issue, just click to resolve clock issues button and often the tool modifies the clocks. In the project manager you can edit project name, choose if you want to separate C and H files or if you want to use hardware abstract layer or low layer API. After the setting just save the IOC file and IDE will ask you if you want to generate a project. After a few seconds, you have a project with set peripheral, core, clocks and more. Now, for example, we modify code and we add a code for sending of array by UART. If you will follow the commands, you will not have any problem with the regenerated project. I will show you later. Now just follow the commands. In this function, we have to find the name of UART, HUART1. Don't forget to add ampersand because it is pointer.
go to the back. Now the firmware is running. So open the serial terminal. Okay, it's running. Now we set baud rate. Go to IOC file, connectivity, USART, and choose different baud rate. Then click to save and generate a new code. If you followed the commands, you still have your code there. In the debugger, you can step the code. We just run the code. Working again. Thanks for your watching and if you like the video, just subscribe this channel.